Hello and welcome to my very first development log, where I will be charting my progress as I build an escape room in virtual reality. The only problem is that I've never made a game before, so this is going to be interesting. I find virtual reality absolutely fascinating, and I loved escape rooms, you know, back when we were allowed to be in a room with other people. But I realised it was not a good idea to just launch into building a fully-fledged game. It was better to build experience, foundation. So I decided that in order to learn Unity, my game development platform of choice, and Blender for 3D graphics, it was best to initially build a prototype, and that meant first designing a puzzle. So after thinking for a bit, I think I managed to design what is the most contrived puzzle in the world. But nevertheless, I wrote it down on a piece of lined paper. I'm hoping you're appreciating my artistic talents. I even wrote down a full solution for how this is going to work. Basically, the premise of this puzzle is to turn the white light that's being projected onto the door into purple light. And the way that you can do that is by using the ingredients in the equipment that are in the room to make red and blue glass. And then when white light is shone through red and blue glass, it makes purple light and the door will open. So after a few tutorials, I started building all of the models within Blender and then importing them into Unity. Okay, so this is what I've got so far, and to be honest, it's actually quite close to my original design. Let's put on the VR headset and have a look inside the room. Well, here we are in this basement of a questionable purpose. Let me show you around. So on my left, we have a massive wooden table. And what would you put on a table? That's right, a Victorian iron and two ceramic bowls. Yeah, okay, over here we've got a large bookcase. Uh, I say bookcase, it has one book on it at the minute, and you can't even open it. So, um, not a very good bookcase, just put that there. Uh, we have a bowl of copper carbonate, that is the green one, and we have a bottle of sulfuric acid as well. These will become very handy very soon. Now at the bottom, we also have two bowls of silica sand. Though the texturing of this is a bit odd because it looks like a mixture of gruel and cement. Anyway, uh, at the top we've also got a salt shaker but we're not really going to use that at the minute. Now this is the door and there is a light going from the projector into the orb on the door. Now the projector has these two slots near the uh, opening there and that indicates that you can put something in front of the light to change its colour or something. Now over here is the glass o -matic. It's a mini furnace, which when you put the correct ingredients in, will make you a piece of glass. Very realistic. Now, over here we've got a sink, which doesn't work. That's a bit more realistic. Uh, you can't even, you know, make the water come out when you turn the tap on. So, uh, hmm. Now we want to open that door, and I think it, I'm going to show you the solution. In order to open up the door, we have to make purple light. And to do that, we need to make red and blue glass using the glass matic So I'm going to take Michelangelo's iron over here, and I'm going to put it into the sink. Now, there would be water in here, so uh, at the minute, it's just going to create rust for me, this very realistic oval rust. So I'm going to take that, and I'm going to take the silica sand, and I'm going to add it to the furnace. Now, I haven't worked out how to actually put it in the furnace at the minute, so it's just resting on top. And after a few seconds, it has produced a piece of red glass. Now, if I add this to the projector, it should turn... Yes, there we are. It's turned the light red, which is great. Now, to produce blue light, we need to create a blue compound and add that to the furnace. You can do this by making copper sulfate, by adding copper carbonate and sulfuric acid together. Uh, and I say add, I'm just going to plonk the bottle on top and there we are. So it's created some copper sulfate. So I'm going to add this to the furnace with the silica sand and see what happens. And it's produced a blue lens, which is great. Let's add that to the projector and... There we are, so we've made magenta light and the door has opened and you get to go forward into the void of nothingness. And that's as far as I've got so far. 
So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed what I've done so far. Uh, if you'd like to continue seeing how things progress, uh, please do make sure to subscribe and I will come out with a new video very soon. Thanks very much.